What's up, Glitter Gang? How you guys doing today? It's Monica Creations TV back with another video. So today, you guys, I am going to be showing you guys how to glitter a tumbler. But before we jump on in, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two. One. Okay, let's go ahead and move it right along. So I promised my goddaughter that I was gonna make her a tumbler, or you know, a cup, glitter it, put the epoxy on it, all uh, that whatnot. So I had went to Roses and I had picked up these water bottles because I needed to get me a water bottle um, to work out, you know, so I could drink water in. And I came ac across these jugs. I got a way much bigger one but um this is a oh shoot this is the color that layla picked out and um i'm still gonna you know could make this for her but today i was shopping um, on my way to work and i went into the dollar store well dollar general to be pacific and i found this ain't this just the cutest the straw doesn't come out. It really won't be no spills. It opens. It's kind of like this one that I'm working on, but just a mini version. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glitter this for her. And I think this is so cute, you guys. I think this is really, really cute. And I think that she will really like it. And I think that she will take care of it. And, you know, it's not, it's kind of hard. So, I don't think, you know, she'll keep up with it. It was only $2 for this cup. You can see it. Yeah. Just $2. And, um, yeah, you guys. So, um, just stay tuned with me. And we're going to go ahead and glitter this thing. And um, I was thinking that this color may go with it. So I just gotta figure out what color I wanna do for her with this cup. So you guys just stay tuned and I will see you guys when I'm glittering it. Hi you guys, I'm back. I forgot to hit record, but I've already started <coughs> glittering the tumbler. I'm so sorry, I thought I hit record on my camera. But I didn't, but this is the color that Layla wants. So she's gonna get it. So let's go ahead and get it right. I'm just going to kind of patch up where I missed, tap it. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of silver. I'm gonna take my brush again brush it where I just tapped it because I didn't mean to do that. So I'm just going to let the glitter go on the bottom because I clearly forgot that I was glittering this. So I'm just going to hit it like that. Okay. So then next I'm going just pour my glitter back in here. And then I'm gonna start with the other color. Y'all didn't hear that. Silver, she likes silver. So, just gonna pick the cup up, put my hand back in and just dab it with the silver. But you, I have to be very careful because I don't have that much silver. I don't know why I didn't buy a big thing of silver. That was crazy that I didn't do that. So, just toss it, see how that looks. Tap it out, and then I gotta work 
I gotta work really fast because before it dries and I only have this much glitter. That's the next thing that I gotta buy, you guys. <coughs> Excuse me. It's silver glitter. I gotta buy me some silver glitter. And I just about wasted it all on me. So I'm definitely gonna have to do me a second coat you can see what I missed and we just tap the cup and you guys see that's how it looks so far you kind of can see the lines but when I go back over with my second coat you ain't gonna be able to see that so I will see you guys when I unbox it hi you guys thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel it's Monica Creations here back with another video so I'm here to show you guys how to epoxy um, your tumblers after you get done putting your glitter on. Now, I have um, two that I have already did. One, I did the epoxy method, which was my first time doing it. So I don't really like how it turned out, but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish it you know i see could i perfect it a little bit oh, my my broke nail i just got them done and it broke the same day not even 24 hours but anyway um then i also have this cup that i already done did i already um sand it down and actually this one i am going to try and put um, three coats of epoxy on there just to see, I mean, thin coats. I didn't say they're, they're really not thick, but I just sanded this one down. Um, so I'm gonna put one more coat and then I'm gonna put my decal and then I'm gonna put my third final coat. I just wanna see how, I, how smooth I could get it because then again, I might not be using that much epoxy. The one that, um, this one, if I have any extra epoxy left over, I will be going ahead and epoxying this one so I can finish it up. I already glittered it. Here, I'll see my video when I put the glitter on here. And um, also, this one is the one that I epoxied. I did not use any um, Mod Podge. <clears throat> So this one I use with straight with epoxy. Now the thing that I do like is if you if well I've sanded it down so you really can't see, but before I had um, sanded it down, it looked really shiny, like really 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 shiny. This still has a little texture to it as I sand sanded it down. <clears throat> Compared to this is my hodge, and this is um straight epoxy now this does have a finer smoothness to it already versus this one i sat in it down it still has a little texture but i can say when i did apply the um epoxy to this it it's it's really smooth but the epoxy method is smoother so I don't really know the difference. These are both of the glitters that I use. This one is extra fine for this one. And I also got this small one, which is um, it just says craft cut. So these are the two I use for this one, which I'm still perfecting this. I'm still practicing you guys. So, you know, I'm just showing you what I get from it and how I feel about it. Whatever my next cup, I will be using these two colors, but I have to get, I'm running out of tumbler, so you know. Just new stuff that I've picked up that I've been wanting to try. So let's go ahead and mix the epoxy and we're gonna get on into it.
that this is how you epoxy it. It's not perfect, but you know, the starter guide of how to get it. You know, practice makes perfect, and so eventually you will get it. But so far, you know, it's not the best, but I can say, you know, it turned out better than what I expected for my first time epoxy and using the glitter method with the epoxy. Still have a lot more research that I need to do, but of my overall, I think it looks good. It's more smoother than I thought that it would be. And depending on how this turns out, I will be doing a, another um, coat because I will thinking about getting the decal to put on here so I'm gonna have to but just for the purpose of, I just wanted to see what it looks like another coat like another thinly coat wouldn't hurt this cup so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial um if you guys want to see me well I guess I can show you guys how I do this one if you don't have a cup turner so um I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna turn my camera back down. I'm actually gonna turn this back here. Um, slide my paper over, which maybe I gotta hold this up a little bit so you guys can see. Um, what you could do: take your cup, put it your cup in your hand. We're going to pour the epoxy on because I don't want to waste. In the epoxy and you can rub it with your hand the, the hand method this is how I do it when I'm doing it by hand so you want to spread it as good as you can shit sorry guys I just don't want to waste this everywhere I did not mean to cuss try not to cuss on YouTube it's kind of hard when you got a bad mouth and I just take my hand do it like that and this is when you don't have a turner which I'm gonna invest in more turners yet but I am I'm wondering like I said I'm gonna do my coat because I have a decal but I'm gonna put on this but I just want to see how it turns out if I do three thin coats on them sure you get that edge probably chop this video up a lot because I'm actually gonna do one more and since I'm gonna do a third layer on here uh, that's all I'm gonna put on this one covered it well and look at that shine you guys do you see that shine Unfortunately, I only have one cup turner. I'm looking into purchasing more. So. So yeah, I'm not going to take too long on this one because I'm going to put another coat on it. But that is beautiful. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this maybe right here. 
it's not a good idea to set your cups upright, but I have to work with what I got. So now I'm going to do this one. I'm going to be using a remainder because I do not want to waste my epoxy. And you just want to rub your hands. On it. Now this one, I'm not going to be able to set, um, I'm not going to be able to set this one down like that because I'm not the white table. Because, um, the bottom is is actually the same way. I'm gonna get those rims. So it's a more power to you. This is the hand method of Baba Turner. Make sure you get that bottom and those edges. So wish you could do this without a glove. You can. But I like to feel more of a hands-on type of person. So I like to feel my cup. So this is the Mod Pod method. The purple one is the epoxy method. And the blue one right here is, is my podge, the Mod Podge method. I'm not trying to get confused. Then put the bottom here. This stuff is really sticky. Yeah, them videos blowing up. I be dazing off. <clears throat> it's so peaceful. So peaceful. That's basically what you want to do. So that's how you do that one. So those are those methods. So what I do with this. So ooh, see now I have to be snow that out when I drop it. And you wanna come I drop it again. Let's re smooth it out. Let's re smooth it. that upside down then again there's the other one they are very pretty see that from that light that lighting that is so pretty
sand again. And just think about when I put that third layer on there, like it's already smooth. But I'm gonna take my thumb and kind of start to run a little bit. So those are actually uh, my methods, how I do it. Um, do I have anything else that I can epoxy on? Um, I have a little epoxy left that tells you I be using too much epoxy sometimes. So um, I'm trying to think if I have anything. I got glitter all over my nose. Um, well. You guys, I guess that's it. I had a walk up my wedding. I mean, I have this, but it's not completely done. So I'm not going to epoxy that. Because the handles are not completed. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. These are my methods on how I, um, these are my methods on how I epoxy and my podge. Now, I'm still learning, so I'm going to get my methods, um, going to get them better. My techniques are going to get better. If you guys just hang in there with me, we're going to get this together. But until next time, please give me your feedback and tell me what you think. I love you guys, and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see my little glitter booze later.